so protective. Hey, Gino. Mr. McNeil. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great, good to see you. Good to see you. How's your day so far? Fantastic. Another beautiful day on the island. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of this place? It's been a wet spring. Yeah. But uh, it's starting to shape up. Everything's uh, greening up and right. making some uh, modifications to our facilities. And uh, we got the horse fountain all painted up. So it's, uh, it's starting you to You mean down, downtown? Yeah, right oh, on Main good. Street. Um, okay, when did you get here anyway? Uh, I've been here, uh, so ap the Monday after uh, town meeting. So I think it was April 4th, 3rd Oh, 4th. wow, yeah, so really. Yeah. Um, where did you come from? Uh, so I'm from Central Mass. Okay. Um, I grew up in a little town called uh, Spencer, which is probably, well, I think that the island here is about 45 square miles. I think the, ta the town I grew up in was about 30 square miles, so a little bit smaller. Very rural, um, and then started moving towards the city. Uh, went to school in the city and then went off to college and um, did basically did a lot of engineering work for uh, the first part of my career and then I've gotten into uh, public works for the past 10 years of my life. I see, so engineering was the first thing you wanted to do? Correct. Yeah. How, what made you go into public works? Um, I would say it's a combination of things but uh, largely driven by the economy. Uh, honestly the uh, the big failure of the housing market back in the uh, mid-2000s. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the development. Uh, I was doing a lot of, uh, I was involved with a lot of land development, uh, commercial, industrial, and uh, residential site developments. I see. And so at that time, when, when the, when the when bottom the, dropped when out, when the market evaporated, uh, I sort of uh, stumbled, trip and fell into public works. And uh, suddenly I realized with my background and my, uh, my, my passion for doing this sort of work, um, and and uh, sort of with a flair towards management. Well, how did you start? How, how did it all come about? Uh, believe it or not, uh, the, my, f my first step in was uh, in the town I grew up in. So uh, I had been doing some uh, development work in that, in, in Spencer. You mean like? Uh, so uh, working with some uh, developers, representing them as an engineer. Okay. And uh, when I went in to speak with one of the uh, permitters, they said, hey, did you know that uh, the person you were going to meet with today, uh, the public works director, actually abruptly left the day before. The public works guy left? She did. I see. She had left. And so um, I said, oh, that's odd. But anyway, I didn't think much about it. And then someone pulled me aside and said, hey, you know, you've been doing work in this town for a long time. We would love to, uh, you, you would really should consider um, doing some part-time work to help the town out through this uh, gap in service before they hire the next director. And I was kind of intrigued and didn't know much about the municipal end of things other than just going through permitting boards for clients. Right, right. So I said, you know, okay, you know, let me let me help out if I can. And I got in and started to uh, kind of describe it as trying to take a sip out of a fire hose. You know, there's just so much going on in public works that I had no concept of. And I think largely a lot of folks out there don't know that we get involved with really everything. Soup to nuts, we're involved in the community in, in so many different ways. The infrastructure of the community. Well, infrastructure, Amazing. yes, but you would be surprised at how many people that touches, uh, from civic associations to, um, uh, here on the island, clearly, you know, uh, civic associations, neighborhood uh, groups, and other interested parties for, for everything. For instance, we're driving down here at, at Madiket, and. So the Madiket Beach, um, you know, we're working with uh, the Madiket uh, Land Trust, with uh, the the three or four or five Madiket uh, associ civic associations. Right. I, I want to get back to how you became a sure a guy, a, you know a guy in this position because that we want to get to know you. We, sure. we understand that your job is important and it's big and you know um, you were well needed apparently. Um, things weren't going as smoothly as they should have apparently I don't know when you took the job over 
Did you feel that way? Well, I would say that... Uh, did I you have to... a lot of cleaning up to do? Or did... <laughs> I would say, um, well, first off, it's always nice to be needed, uh, no, yeah. matter, no matter what you're doing. Um, and so I would say, you know, uh, in, the, in the idea of uh, getting to know me, um, I, I have a family that's coming to the island to join me. Oh, good. Uh, so I have three, yeah. three children that are uh, now just about college age, uh, two in college, one in high school. And, uh, and as an aside, I'll say that my wife is actually going to be joining me out here, and, but in a capacity that you may not be aware of. Uh, she is actually going to be the next, uh, the new principal at the brand new uh, intermediate school. Oh my gosh! The elementary school. Is so, that? Oh wow! So we're very. Well, that's excited convenient. To be here. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to be here. So and did you get her the job, or did she get you this job? Well, Which, how I, did that work? Out? I would say uh, it, it's been. Uh, I was glad that I got the job before she did because I feel that she's uh, far more qualified for what she does than I am for what I do. All right, but okay, what do, what's going on here? Sure. So we're looking and this at this is what, the, one uh, of the things that you guys are doing, right? Sure. This is the Madigan, uh, oh, essentially so different. Madigan Road. I've been out here in this a while. is the uh, the beach access. Yeah. Uh, the problem here is obviously you have uh, pretty substantial erosion going on, and uh, what this is is simply an attempt to uh, keep this access uh, alive. So it's a it's basically termed a uh, beach nourishment program. Oh, okay. So it's but is there is will there be access here ever? No? Well, is well, over? I think the point is that if we've seen in other areas um, over time, the beach will start to uh, through. Uh, How are people going to get to the beach though? How are they? Well, going to right, walk to the beach? right now the access has been through Chicago Street, uh, which is uh, land that's actually owned by the uh, Madigan Land Trust. Okay. So, we are, the town is uh, not necessarily DPW directly. Excuse me, but the um, the town is working directly with the, the land trust to to work through agreements uh, to keep the beaches accessible uh, to the public. Right. There's another access down uh, further down. I believe it's off Massachusetts Ave. And then you have the, of course, the uh, the the uh, ramp off the other end of Massachusetts Ave. Right, right. But you know, things that we need to address. Uh, out here, specifically yeah. in Madigan, are uh, the erosion. You know, off, off the beach, we're trying to save Madigan Road and um, this street here. Um, what is this? This is. Um, Gosh, you know, you, we'll, we'll cut you some slack. Ames, I should this know is the name Ames of it. Avenue. This is Ames. Okay. So Ames Avenue, um, <laughs> you know, there's a, a fair amount of erosion on the sides of that. Uh, we're going to get get together soon and mm. put some uh, some berm. And improve the drainage there to, to try to save that from continuing to undermine. Your basic job is to just, when fires come up, you got to put them out. No, mostly. no, but frankly, and I'm glad you brought that yeah. up because because that's what I think people mostly and, that, and, and people for the expect. unfortunately for the longest time, uh, public works has been treated much like a fire department. Yeah, and I say that in the most uh, respectful way for fire departments, but we're in a very different way. We're, we're always uh, running uh, and and just being very reactive to things, and I think uh, we've largely gotten away from. Um, and I can get to why in a, in a second here, but we've gotten away from the planning and we've gotten away from the, the real investment in the important things here, which are uh, largely the, the infrastructure. So and when I say that, you know, we could talk about infrastructure all day long, but it's the stuff that you don't see that really ends up becoming a problem when you ignore it. You know, it's no different what than, would that, than what stuff. comes to mind. So, uh, underground. So you're dealing with largely water, sewer, right. and drainage, right? right. The, the, the three parts of water: water, sewer, and drainage. So drinking water, storm water, and uh, wastewater.